Hello everyone, and welcome back to 4 Kilobyte Shorts Let's Play of Kerbal Space Program. Um, this video is going to be mostly a test. Uh, I say that, I keep trying to rotate the camera. That's why my mouse moves like that, I keep trying to rotate the camera, and I, you can't until you put something in there. Um, anyway, this is going to be a test of some information that I recently received from uh, J.W. Beazel1, uh, one, one of my watchers, mentioned that you can transfer fuel between ships and I thought that was interesting but I'm not entirely sure how that works and I have some ideas in my head for a space station yes everyone's doing a space station I'm going to be doing one too but I had some ideas in my head for a space station and uh, one of those ideas was for whoa that's big that was big 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 um, one of those ideas is for of course a space station with a fuel transfer so the fuel transfer can then be used to send uh, bigger ships to farther planets because I, I've in 0.17 I went to every planet out there and well except for Jewel and its moons and Moho of course and uh, because of that I want to actually go to Jewel and and explore its moons and it's easier to do that if you have like a space station or something that can uh, that can compensate with fuel and whatnot so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to build a test ship and this test ship is going to see how fuel transfers are made and I'm just gonna keep it on the launch pad but I want to see how how you can transfer fuel from one ship to another um, I also received another piece of information um, from a random uh, poster I guess a random commenter who mentioned that mech Jeb ta -da -da -da, is now out for 0.18 I am so excited you have no idea how excited that makes me um, I will say honestly I've been having a lot of fun trying to fly these ships on my own but MechJev is just it's such an awesome tool that even if you don't use it the fact that it's there for you to use is just it's epic okay now what I'm doing here okay what I'm doing here is I am going to use this little non kerbin um, enabled connector. And the reason I'm doing that, I gotta make sure I'm aiming it the right way. Is that right? It's kind of right. Oh, okay, it's upside down. Um, the reason I'm doing that is because when I transfer fuel, I want, I want to separate my fuel tran- the hell? I want to separate my fuel transfer stage or my fuel transfer pods, nodes, whatever, from an actual docking node so that I don't have... Okay, that's just weird. I stuck it on there and now it doesn't want to come off. Maybe you can't do that to a fuselage. Hmm. Well, you know what? I know I can do it to this. <laughs> I know I can do it to this. So, um, because of that, uh, I, I want to use the smaller pods for transferring to... Um, We'll do, we'll do more this time. Uh, the smaller, I'm trying to think and put this together while I talk, and I apologize that I'm like repeating myself. Anyway, so I want to use the smaller connectors to allow for fuel transfer. But as I said, I'm not 100% sure how it's fighting me. I recently updated to 0 0.18.1, and I nearly lost Jeb, Bob, and Bill. And the reason I say that is because uh, the system had a little bit of an issue and it kind of hiccuped on me. And I had recently made a backup of my save, of, of my, my, you know, my stuff so I wouldn't lose it. And it turns out that that's not the best idea. <laughs> what ended up happening was I lost my save. I actually couldn't use my save anymore. And I was able to get it back though. I was able to like somehow pull it back from the brink. I wish I knew, not X, C. I wish I knew why this isn't working like I wanted it to. It's it's not connecting to this like I think it should be. I mean, it connects there just fine, right? But it doesn't want to. I mean, I guess that works, but that's not not how it's supposed to work. Okay, now. The second part of this test, and that won't work, it's too big, is to take this little tiny, tiny, tiny one. Yeah, for whatever reason, this one's... Oh, wait, was that it? There we go, okay. 
Now here's the second part of this test. Well, I was, I was going to use a big, that big gigantic orange tank, but I'm not going to now. So there we go. There we go. So we have the docking clamps connected between the tanks. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these. I'm just going to stabilize this and I'm going to hold it in place and the rockets are going to burn, 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 burn. And then I'm going to try to transfer fuel from here to here without using any lines or anything because you know they say you can transfer fuel but I don't know if you need the lines or not so let's go ahead and save this as uh, TFT no remember I'm going to do this test fuel transfer so TFT for short but test fuel transfer is what we're going to call it and let's get out to the runway and I will see you there okay so here we are out here in the wild blue ground <laughs> the shadows are getting long on the horizon. Ooh, oh, that's pretty. Look at that. And the shadows are stretching and everything, and the sun's going down. Probably not the best time to do this kind of a test, but we're going to do this kind of a test anyway. So let's see. Resources. Uh, oh, my electricity. I didn't put any solar panels or batteries on, so I don't know how long this will last. Oh, well, we will have to see. We'll have to see. All right, and so it'll ignite... That's all we really want, because we just want to burn a ton of fuel without shattering that. Okay, and then there's that, and like, how do we transfer fuel? So you can disable cross feed. So I think it'll start draining from there if I don't do that. So. Hmm. I mean, I can just keep burning and see what happens. Whoa, it's starting to separate a little bit. So you can say disable crossfeed, which then will cause it to not transfer any fuel. I should bring that back down a little bit. That that whole gap in the a couple. I know it's not really there, it's only visually there, but it still kind of makes me nervous. Okay, so... Hmm... Because I can't really do anything with the tank itself. I'm not really sure what this little arrow here means. Like, don't use that, maybe, is what that means. Oh, dear. Okay, yeah, it means don't use that. <laughs> it shuts off the feed, I guess, of that particular object. So I guess that means you could have like one of these for oxidizer and one of these for for liquid fuel if you wanted to have two separate tanks for one engine, but why you'd want to do that, I don't know. Okay, so this is... Crossfeed's disabled still, and this is burning a little bit longer than I meant it to, so we're about to drop down. Boom, done. Okay, now enable crossfeed. Okay, so crossfeed capable, but not in the way that I would you would think. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Control from here doesn't help. Okay, so apparently I can disable or enable the crossfeed but that doesn't matter because it's not actually feeding from that engine which I guess is annoying oh well I guess we'll go back inside then because for now um, that means that the, the coupling system I wanted to use is not going to work for these ships or you know this, this space station that I wanted to design so I will see you back inside